So is Java EE, Java Enterprise Edition, is this an outdated dead technology in 2021? This is a question that was put to me, and I'm going to give you an answer. So the short answer is not really, but I would not create anything new. But there is still a huge amount of Java to work out there. So why wouldn't I create anything new in Java? Simple reason. Java, though it's a very competent language and Java apps will work very well, it's, uh, it's a proven technology. In fact, it's the single language, it's the language rather, that I've written the most code in of all the languages. Partly because Java is such a verbose language, you're going to write a lot, a lot of Java code. So if I was starting any new projects, I wouldn't be using Java because it's just so slow to write in. In modern day application development, you have to get your first version of your application, your minimum viable product, MVP, as they say in the um, startup world. You want to get your MVP is out as quickly as possible, and Java is not exactly the best choice for that. You're much better off using one of the more uh, nimble, lighter languages like JavaScript with Node and Express as the framework, or PHP Laravel or Python Django, and there are others out there. I rather use a lighter, nimbler language, even though Java is extremely capable and powerful. That said, as I mentioned earlier, you're gonna get, you are going to get a plenty of jobs in the Java world. There's plenty of jobs. Just go to Indeed.com, search your city or your town. They're probably, especially if you're in a large city where there's banks and financial institutions and larger corporations. You're going to find a lot of Java work. There's no question about that. Java 2, double E, or Java EE, Enterprise Edition, is basically web app creation or server-side JavaScript, Java coding. This is not Android development. Android development is a different subset of Java. Android development is still pretty big as well, although even Google, who owns Android, has recommended that people write Android apps in Kotlin, again, because Kotlin's a lighter, nimbler language. As far as I know, I believe you can use Kotlin in the j 2 E space, although I'm not sure about that because I, I believe Kotlin can interact with Java seamlessly, no problems. You would have to check into that. Anyway, so to uh, round up this video, to wrap up this video rather, is Java j 2 E or JEE, or is it old, outdated technology? It's old, but Python's old too. JavaScript is old. PHP is old too. Uh, many and most of the top languages, C Sharp is relatively old too. C Sharp is a 1999 technology, Java is 1995. They're all pretty old. All the big players out there, they're pretty old, but it doesn't mean it's outdated. Again, plenty of jobs in Java, Java Enterprise Edition, but that means you could be working for large companies, large organizations. So if you jump into Java EE, Java Enterprise Edition, understand that that type of programming means working on very large projects, probably maintaining old projects, adding modules, updating it, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, rather than building things from scratch. So some people like the big enterprise type of work where you work at large corporations, large banks, pharmaceuticals, etc. Those are the type of companies that are going to be using Java. Whereas if you want to work at a nimbler startup or you want to work at a smaller business, medium-sized business, much more likely you're going to be using some other language and not Java. Although I would not be creating new stuff in Java, there's certainly tons of Java jobs available for you. All right, hope this helps. And if you have any questions or comments, write them underneath this video. If you want to be mentored by a nerd in software development, freelancing, business development, uh, you want to become a web developer, check out my mentoring program and courses below. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.